in any city, in any country. We recommend Italy or any other country that had a history of believing in more than one God. Go to any mental institution or asylum you can get yourself into. When you reach the front desk, ask the attendant if you can see the holder of the gods. The receptionist should look at you with amazement and wonder in her eyes. If she looks down at you and sneers, then at least your death will be one no one but you will see. She will give you a large key and point you in the direction of the holder. A nearby window. Thank her and head toward the window. Climb out. You should have entered into a well-watered, lush lawn, filled with flowers no other mortal man has ever seen. Don't pay any mind to these details, but instead look up to the clouds passing high up in the sky. There should be a long rope hanging down from the cloud. Without hesitation, grab the rope and begin to climb up. If you do not reach the rope in time, then you shall go with the ground into the darkest pits of hell. Begin to climb up the rope. You should never run out of energy while climbing, and the only sound you hear should be birds chirping. If at all the sound stops rather abruptly, immediately stop climbing and shout out, My job is done! But my path goes on. This is the way, and I shall not stop for the likes of you. Should the noise continue on, then continue your climb. If not, then release your grip, for an infinite fall to your death is one much more suitable than the one that there would be with the beast. Once you finish your hazardous climb up, you should see an immense throne, in which sits a wizened old man, very muscular for his age, and standing at least three stories tall. Surrounding his throne are thousands of small children, each wearing a toga of pure white, similar to the one the old man wears. You must ignore the man, and instead look for the one child wearing the purple toga. Once you find her, at least it should be a her, begin to make light conversation with her. Her appearance is of a small child, so treat her as such, playing with her, conversing with her as you would a small child. The old man should be getting more and more angry as the time goes on. At one point he should stand sending shock waves over the ground. He will shout, How could this one be more important than I? You must respond with as much force as you can muster in front of this giant of a man. And where are your colors? The man will look at you coldly with this statement and raise his hands. All will go black and it is best for you to close your eyes at this point, for he has banished you to the void, and there are sights nothing should ever see, not even those in the void themselves. Before something in the void realizes you are here, shout out into the abyss. What is it that they kneel to? A voice should whisper to you the answer. The one who seeks. The voice shall continue on, telling you a story of how they fell, how they kneeled in respect, and how they rebelled, in every single detail, from the grains of sand that moved to the bones that broke. When the voice stops, wait ten seconds, then open your eyes. You will be inside the establishment looking out the window. There should be a purple toga outside, but do not go through the window to retrieve it, for it will only deliver you back into the void, 
removing your eyelids first, so that there will be nothing stopping you from taking in all that there is to see of your new home. Exit the building and pick up the toga, which is object 375 of 538. The toga gives the power of the gods, but only once. Timing is everything, but remember the gods have a short temper.